Time to get wrecked. I'm ready to get wrecked here tonight. Hmm. Ralph, get out of my phone and quit wrecking it, okay? Now I gotta do this review, okay? Yes, it's your movie. Okay? Okay, we're done here. Alright, Ralph, see you. Talk to you later. Oh. Hello, you Disney lovers out there. I'm the Disney enthusiast and <clears throat> the citizen of Arendelle for life, Matthew Avery. If you folks watched the beginning, I went, during my Thanksgiving break, I went to go see Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck It Ralph 2. I really enjoyed it. And now, let's talk about it, shall we? Alright, the movie is basically, takes back, the movie is like six years after the events of the first film. After they took down uh, Turbo and save the entire arcade, Ralph and Penelope have been best friends for six years, and and Penelope, Penelope is saying that her game is so predictable, and so Ralph creates a shortcut, and she, Penelope ends up taking that shortcut, and the player who's playing her, playing her ends up wondering what's going on, and then she accidentally takes, like, Turns on that the steam just simply comes off, and Mr. Lovelock breaks it, and, and they unplug Sugar Rush. So uh, Ralph and Vanellope, Vanellope go into the internet, find the steering wheel. They try, they give it twenty-seven thousand or one dollars on eBay, and. Basically, they have twenty-four hours, or they're gonna lose the bid. And, oh, by the way, I do have some Mickey ears. It's about this time of year where we put on our Santa hats. So they go into Slaughter Race, where it's $40,000 for Shank's car. They almost got out. But, they get caught. But they end up helping Penelope and Rob by saying, posting a funny video on BuzzFeed. Then they go talk to Yes. And, Yes says, Oh, he, he talks about you. Heart, 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 heart. Then they have, then Robin, yes, side. We gotta make more viral videos. So, and then, while they do that, they send uh, pop ups to check out the video. They send up people to check the video, and Penelope convinces yes to let her go. And when he, when she does, Rob says, Oh, we gotta send her back to Slaughter's. We're gonna send her to. Oh my Disney! So Penelope ends up getting a few people before she runs into the Stormtroopers. And she ends up getting chased by them and she runs into cast members where well actually Nick Wilde from Zoot Zootopia is walking out of them. He's holding one of his uh, popsicles like <laughs> he smuggled. Then there's other characters like Pee Pee and Shadow, Tinkerbell and Grumpy. And there's also, I, during the chase, there's a, let's just say there's a special someone we saw. I'll get to that in some of my um, written things I have. And Melby ends up teleporting herself into the Disney princess room. Where she runs it, all the Disney princesses all panic and they draw weapons like Cinderella uses it own slipper as a weapon and Mulan has her own, has a sword. Lay up with Jasmine <laughs> and oh, I was like uh, she just has her face like wait what? <laughs> then Vanellope convinces the princesses that she's a princess too. Then she then the princesses decide we're gonna go into casual wear. And then they, Vanellope ends up finding a song by looking into the water. No, literally, that's what happened. And by the way, it was a great movie. And she ends up singing about Slaughter Race. She goes back to Slaughter Race, and Ralph and 
Ralph and yes, end up getting enough money to pick up the steering wheel. And basically, Ralph is waiting for Penelope, and she realizes he realizes he went. She went back to slaughter race. Like she did, he didn't want that. So he went and got a virus, and she ended up getting out of her game. And she got mad at Ralph for sending in that virus. Takes off his hero cookie medal and throws it downstairs where it breaks. Down and Ralph is considered anti-security and that security thing ends up creating a lot of Ralphs. And a Ralph almost breaks breaks the internet. But he knows more who was was the Alan Tudyk who voiced King Kenny in the first movie. Ends up showing them a way they can get Penelope, get all the Ralphs gone. But before they get there, uh, Ralph and the, all the Ralphs turn into one giant Ralph. And basically they always got Penelope and they fight off. <laughs> Ralph fights off his own self. Talk about hanging yourself, by the way. <laughs> He's a total attack, actually. Then she crashes into Pinterest. And Ralph ends up ta talking about the giant antivirus Ralph that's saying, Eventually, you'll have to let her go. Ralph ends up clearing the virus. But then he falls, and then and all the Disney princesses before Ralph. Rob was almost saved by a guy that wanted to get rich playing video games, and he crashed right through it. And the Disney princesses see that, oh my God, Rob needs help. Then they all bind together, like Ariel and Elsa, uh, Elsa, and everybody else, one way to catch Rob in Snow White's dress. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Basically, and Penelope and Rob saying. Well, all good. Then Ralph gives Penelope a necklace. The necklace, and now it's a heart, one half of a heart. They both have a half. And basically, goes to Grit. I let Ralph tell Penelope what's going on through the phone, and he says that he'll bring burgers over to Slaughter Race. And then the Mega Cut scene, they show the um, scene that was actually supposed to be in the movie where Baby Moana is playing. Uh, Pancake and milkshake came, and that's where Rob ends up blowing up the, the kitty, the poor bunny, <laughs> probably scarring that little girl for life. And apparently, after the credits, I did not see this part. Apparently, there was a company of chill for us, too, only we got Rip Rick rolled. You know, went, I'm never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. That thing. All them, that is actually really hilarious. All right, now that we're going to finish synopsis, we're going to be going into my uh, little list I have. Okay, here I have a, a list of basically like what favorite scenes, what I kept the eye out for, what took me the most, what they did good with the movie, and what was up. Uh, different about this second movie. Well, actually, let's get to that one. In this movie, we saw less of Fix It Felix and Sergeant Calhoun. Because Ralph and uh, Ralph people like mostly in the internet, so basically they they weren't in, in there. And they just went in the arcade and they barely made an appearance. And basically, that's the only thing that was different throughout the whole movie. And it turned out, oh, the different thing is, Ralph was his own enemy. And true, Ralph was his, made his own enemy out of himself with that virus. And, okay, the main point of the movie is uh, Ralph eventually let Penelope go. Oh, yeah. Um, but they left out, uh, they left out where the Disney princesses and Penelope took the selfies. And they try to change up the wording of what Meredith said because she's quote unquote from the other studio. And basically, what I'm saying is, uh, 
they, they changed that up a little bit because uh, I I know it was different from the trailer. Okay, um, main viewpoint. The main viewpoint is Raul eventually decided, you know, I think it's time for Penelope to uh, go to a race that go to something that she enjoys. And he knows that she he will be able to visit her. One of my favorite scenes. Let's just say, um, most of them, most of the scenes, like all the scenes were basically my favorite. Penelope entering All My Disney. And you want, you want to know, you want to know, um, what the song, when she, Penelope was entering All My Disney, she was entering the Let It Go by saying like Demi, Demi Lovato. And the Disney princess scenes. Basically, and, uh, I love those. Basically, everybody loved those scenes in there. In there. All right, uh, one of my funniest scenes. Been, um, almost to the point, even minus the one where Renelpi got mad at Ralph. What I kept an eye out for. I kept out for uh, any other Disney characters, which I did. There was Grumpy, Nick P. Wilde, and Zootopia, Grumpy. His Iron Man and Kermit. There was also like the you know the half from Fantasia that was there. Mickey was on top of it doing the spells. And I also kept an look up for Stan Lee because he passed away. He never got to see his own cameo because he passed away. He was he, even though it was a non voice voiceover, it's, I still saw him. He was stuck in the Iron Man. I'm uh. Hot. Pause it right here and we'll move on. Okay, yeah. Uh, what scene took me the most? Well, basically, the scene that took me the most was uh, Ralph signing, you know, Benelby. I think I'm going to let you stay in Slaughter Race. That's what took me the most. And here's the list I'm very proud of. What they did good with the movie, they showed what the internet has to offer. Basically, it showed everything the internet has. Snapchat, Google, tw Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Amazon, Pinterest, all the good stuff. Basically, everything that the internet has to offer. And yeah, also, they did it with the animation of the Disney princesses into the movie. That is something I'm really impressed by. They animated, they were able to put the Disney princesses into a, the CGI animation. Let's just say, uh, well, before we got, they actually gave, they gave Cinderella ears, because if he knows in most of the Cinderella movies, you do not have ears. And basically, when I saw this is a princess scene, when they went to attack Merida, when they, Merida and the rest of the Disney princesses went to attack Penelope, let's just say Mulan looks more, in, looks more intimidating in 3D. Like, ah! <laughs> like, um, maybe I'll put a link in the description to the video so you folks can watch on your own time. And but really, Mulan looked more fierce, intimidating in 3D. And that was that way, like, it's that amazing. They were able to put all these. Even though Anna, Elsa, and Moana were not just the princesses, like they couldn't leave them out because Moana, basically, she will be eventually, basically, she will eventually become a Disney princess. Anna, Elsa, even though that Anna Elsa is a queen, and Moana also have their own franchise. So why, and plus, why wouldn't you include them in uh, this movie? And what well, got? Here's the good part, best part. They got most of the Disney princesses, original voice actresses like Belle, Ariel, Pocahontas, Punzo, Mulan, Jasmine, Anna, and Elsa, Moana, Tiana. Um, like the earlier Disney princesses like Snow White, Ariel, Cinderella. Like they have to get new voices for them, that's understandable. Basically, the time when we is what they did great with most of the movie. But one thing I do wish they did is uh, 
Mr. Wood put cutscenes to when Mr. Litwock re received the steam when I was like, where did this come from? Who paid for this? And he was like, ah, Michael, just a doll. By the way, Ed O'Neill replies replies his role, role as Mr. Litwock. And basically, Rob breaks the internet. That's a great movie. All right, basically, that is all the time I have for this episode. Remember, if you liked this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up as that really helps me out. And if you did watch this, thank you. And if you want to go check out my other videos for... Go check out my other Disney Enthusiast Smash Baby YouTube videos. Go check out my podcast, the Disney Enthusiast Smash Baby Podcast on Anchor. And if you want, go check... Well, I'll be make, I'll be doing a podcast review episode about this also, and if you my if you want to go find me on social media, Maves Avery is my Snapchat, Maves and Don Dash Avery, and my Instagram is Matt Avery of Arendelle, all in lowercase, and my Instagram and my Twitter is Matt Avery Disney, all in caps, and. Here's the one thing to remember. Yeah. Can you see it? Keep calm and keep Disneying on. For all you Disney lovers out there, I'm the Disney enthusiast and citizen of Randolph Life, Matthew Avery. And I'll see you in the next video, my friends.